Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be looking at the CRKT Fossil Small. Stick with it. So let's first do a size comparison on this guy right here. So let's first knife we'll size it up with is another. Uh, another knife by the same designer. Here is the Carnifex. Here is the Bradley Bradley Kimura production run, of course. It's a lot harder to flip that with the tripod in the way than I thought it would be. Kershaw Shuffle. Kershaw Skyline. And Benchmade Group Italian. All right. So let's start off with some facts about this guy. Blade length on this guy comes in at 3.41 inches. Blade thickness on this guy is 0.11 inches. Blade material is coming in at 8CR13 MOV blade steel. Has a drop point blade shape. Has a um, flat grind. It is a satin blade. G10 handle with stainless steel liners. Um, weight on this guy is coming in at a right around 4.2 ounces 4.2 ounces it is a manual flipper um, and like I said before it is actually it's considered a stainless steel frame lock even though some people might consider it a liner lock if you look here this is the like the actual handle and sorry about the sloshing in the background my dog is actually drinking right now of course um, can't make a video without her making a guest appearance via sound but as you can see what I was talking about, it's kind of frame lock and a liner lock mixed, which is cool. I like that. Um, it is made in China, and it is done by, designed by Flavio Icoma. So let's get into, um, this is a nice looking guy. Show you some pictures now. As you can see, this is actually a pretty good looking knife. Um, it is only right hand, right handed carry, tip up only. Um, this action on this guy is so smooth, so smooth. I love this action. Words cannot describe the love I have for this action on this knife. It's just so good. Um, it's almost drop shutty. Not, not as coarse as good as some of the other knives that are drop shutty. Not quite as fast, but I mean, for the price, like 35-ish, 30, 34-ish bucks, you can't complain. I mean, such a beautiful knife. Um, now, of course, all this information is um, like the blade, blade steel and stuff. It's all the same. The handle materials is everything. This is the same for the actual fossil. The only difference is the actual fossil is a 4-inch blade versus this being a 3.41-inch. Um... This is extremely comfortable for me in hand. Um, the only thing is this pocket clip puts a little bit of a hot spot, but honestly, it's not super bad. Um, to me, this blade shape is actually pretty useful, like this little recurve with this big belly right here. And then of course, having that um, nice stabby tip works great for me. Um, no lanyard hole on this guy. As you can see, there is no lanyard hole which doesn't really bother me because I don't use lanyards on my knives. Um, like I said earlier, this is coming in the mid $30, $30 mark-ish. Um, I got this one on sale for $31. Um, but yeah, and um, this is in the perfect size range for me. Uh, 
3.25 to 3.5 inches is actually my comfort and size for my hands. That seems to be the great best amount of handle material. And this is right, I don't know what this handle, but it's like right on the bottom edge of my comfort. So it's any smaller, any, if the handle was any smaller, it would not be comfortable for me. But yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of this. Um, it's unique. It's beautifully unique if you look at this um, design. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, and it's a long time coming for me to review this guy. Um, but I always wanted one, and once I saw that this was on sale, I had to pick it up. And it has I KBS, uh, I KBS ball bearings, if you can see that little mark right there. Um, but these are actually caged ball bearings. Um, um, from what I've understood, this is actually caged ball bearings, which means that it's like in a, uh, in a washer, the ball bearings are put in the washer and the washer can spin using those ball bearings, which is, I gotta say it's nice and it's easier for when you take it apart. Cause if it's just the regular IKBS, the balls, you're worried about the balls like rolling everywhere, everything else. At least here they're contained in a washer, so you can just take out the washer and set it aside and wipe it down. But yeah, so my thoughts on this guy, it's a pretty good knife. I had rated about a, uh, I mean, the price is just so good on this guy. Let's be honest here. The price is what makes this guy for me. 8 CR 13 MOV steel, um, there are more expensive knives that have that steel. Well guys, I'll see you in the next one.